Hello and welcome to The Game Plan. I'm Paul Jodka, joined by former England hard man James Graham. Thanks for joining us, James. Yeah, thanks for having me. It's going to be a day where we talk about three big name forwards who are switching clubs for the 2024 season. Let's turn to a player moving from the Broncos to the Dolphins in Tom Flegler. Show us what he can do for a team with his ball in hand. Yeah, this is sensational stuff. So look at where um, Flegler's receiving the ball, basically on his own tent. One of the hardest runs, one of the hardest carries to take in rugby league. Sometimes people are looking around, who's going to take this run? Well, Flegler wants the ball, and let's see what he does from the team. So they're pretty much just outside their own tent, and he manages to carry this football all the way to past the 30. That is a magnificent run. When you look back and look at the territory, the Brisbane Broncos completely on the back foot, going absolutely nowhere in this set. Payne Haas has been controlled. Give the ball to Tom Flegler next and let's see where we can get to. So as a kicker, as a, as a, as a half, you just love to play alongside a guy like Tom Flegler. I can only imagine what he's gonna do for those players at the Dolphins. When nothing's going your way, Let's see what Tom can do. Out of his own end, strong carry, difficult to put down, and just gaining meters, 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 and then he's got this in his game as well. The late, safe, controlled offload. So let's just go back and have a look at that. So a lot of coaches don't really like to see middle forwards offloading the football in this sort of field position because it can be deemed as quite high risk, but what Flegler does, he fractures this defensive line so you can't get your hooks and your handles and stop the ball. And it's, what happens is, it's a really safe offload. You can see the Parramatta defenders are all over the shop. It's not their usual style of tackle. And when Flegler's got players like this, it's a safe, controlled offload, and it turns this set. It's an absolute set changer. It changes this set to being a yardage set where Brisbane Broncos, or what will be the Dolphins next year, just look to be get forward, complete the set, let's kick long chase hard, let's regain some energy. It turns it into an attacking style set where now the kick off the back of that is gonna be an offensive style kick and then the pressure then is on is on to the Parramatta Reels. This is a, a semi-final game and from memory the, the game still needed to be won for the Brisbane Broncos. And let's just have a look at this. Flegler, he's got support there with Payne Haas, skips across, Again, a safe controlled offload with go back. Let's see how many numbers are in that tackle and what it does to the New Zealand Warriors defensive line. So there's already one marker. So the defensive line is pretty fractured. So let's just play it on. Let's see how many defenders Flegler managed to attract the attention of. One, two, I think that's near Corey there. Who's the, who's the right back row? So he's come all that way in because he's had to deal with yeah. Flegler even though You've got Reese Walsh here, one of the most dangerous broken field runners, but what's happened there is Nia Kors had to go in. Tom Flegler's demanded that attention. Again, a safe offload, and this is what Brisbane Broncos do so well. So because he's gone in, they're left with three players. I think Chance chases across there, or I'm not sure who that player was, but still, Tom. it all comes off the, the attention that Flegler demands because of his physical presence. And then that nice calm ability to put an offload away, but it's not a pressured offload. He's, you'd see examples of where three players have Flegler in a tackle and yep. it's a controlled, and he would just look to fight to the ground and play the ball. But he realizes he's got space there, it's safe, it's controlled, and he uses the strength of the Brisbane Broncos. And I'm imagining his teammate from the Brisbane Broncos, Herbie Farmworth, yeah. would just be loving that, just encouraging his new teammates, let's get behind Tommy Flegler, because he can find that offload, which is, I guess when you think of Flegler, you think of this big, aggressive footballer, but he's got some skills about him as well. Well, he's one of those guys, I guess, that when you even out from the line or close to the line, he can create tries and he can even score them, and that's going to help the Dolphins uh, as they look to sort of in improve, I guess, in their attack. Yeah, absolutely. So with the Dolphins last year, they did manage to poach a few tries. Jeremy Marshall King was in red-hot form for when he was fit and available last season, and we even saw 
dare I say it, Mark Nichols become a bit of a try scoring <laughs> yeah. threat close to the try line yeah. an attribute that's not something we associate Mark Nichols no. with is it so yeah. when you think of Marshall King now he's got Tommy Flegler in his arsenal of weapons he's going to be using him up look just before we press play on this I just want everybody to notice this is last tackle yeah this is last tackle and we'll see another example of Tom Flegler getting the ball close to the try line on last tackle so this is what it is, it's it's confidence from Flegler, but it puts the opposition on notice because usually the players here, the Melbourne players, will be looking to go and pressure the Brisbane halves. That would have been the message in the video from the from from Coach Bellamy. You've got to go and pressure the halves. Let's put pressure because you know they've got some pretty handy outside backs to defuse these kicks, and they are set for that. And if the ball does go to one of the halves, that's where they're going to go. Let's have a look at this acceleration from six and a half meters out all it takes is one gap and again with that ability to demand the ball mm. back yourself he knows he knows and and his teammates trust that he's got the ability because if that doesn't come off then the coaches will be asking why didn't the ball go to Adam Reynolds the kicker yeah. in that situation but what it is it's whoever's in at dummy half knows that if Flegler calls the ball he's doing it for a reason yeah. and he's going to back up and give us points all right this one he's second off the ruck this time because you've got Pat Carrigan in at first receiver. Yeah, absolutely. So this is a great ball from Pat Carrigan and obviously Flegler. He's not just there as a dummy runner, which you can fall into the trap with fatigue and knowing that the ball usually does go out the back. But what he does, he has an eye for a gap here and Jared Wallace does this play a lot and don't be surprised to see that combination of Wallace and Flegler next year in season 2024 for the Broncos because You'd be silly not to use it. And this is a classic example. Biggest game of the year, the Broncos. They needed some points yeah. before half-time. We all saw that. We know what happens at the end, but what happened after half-time, I think the catalyst for that was Tom Flegler's try just on half-time. Again, note the referee. Hand in the air in a grand final. <laughs> do you go to Flegler? <laughs> or do you go and you put the ball... I think, is that... To Ruver on that side, perhaps a bit of a mismatch. That's something that maybe a perceived slight weakness of the Penrith Panthers is, is they have smaller wingers and outside backs. But Flegler demands the ball, and really, there's not much on there, and he just finds a way to get the ball o over the line. But that's a very, very confident front rower that demands the football in that situation in a grand final. Yeah and he comes up with the goods. It's great stuff. Let's turn to his defence now because he's a player who can hit very hard and he's going to add that element they've already got with Felice Cafusi, but now Flegler as well. They're, they're going to be a team that oppositions won't want to face. No, absolutely not. We all witnessed Felice Cafusi. It took him the best part of 20 minutes to get those shoulders warmed up in round <laughs> one last year against the Sydney Roosters. Having Tom Flegler alongside him is only going to add to that fear and that intimidation that the Dolphins pack will look to bring in season 2024. Let's just have a look at this as well. This is off a retreat. I just want to take you back to that. So, again, Flegler is the last person out of the tackle. He comes back here to the A defender spot. He shuffles across. Now, the idea is, and coaches drill this into you, that you get back into A defender and you get off the line. But the reality of the situation is, is fatigue sets in and you could be forgiven and he would have been forgiven for getting back in the defensive line and just steadily com coming up off the defensive line, keeping his feet, making sure John's here, doesn't beat him on an inside shoulder, he doesn't get lazy and really he just needs to stay with the line. But watch the acceleration and watch what he does to the halfback who dares to bring the ball up to the line. So watch, that in, watch the acceleration into the collision. He has no right to do that. He's just come out of the third man in the tackle. A job where you're thinking, I'll just get back. I'll just hold my shape. But he goes above and beyond. And again, the, the messages, the psychological messages that every half back in the NRL, not just yeah. John's in that particular moment, yeah. every half watches that. And then they start to wonder. And it gets you little wins next week <laughs> because you've got to think, well, is Flego going to come and get me? Yeah. Because you don't want to be on the receiving end of one of those shots. No. Take the wind there. And as well, 
a legal shot. We see that sometimes where you yeah. get it fractionally wrong, where the ball carrier releases the ball, but he doesn't. He gets his timing perfect. Yeah. And here they're only coming off their own line, but it's it's a big man, Blake Laurie, but doesn't seem to bother Flegler, who he's coming up against. No, this is sensational stuff. I just want to take you back a, a couple of a couple of frames. So if you watch where Flegler is, he comes from the outside in on this occasion and absolutely belt Blake Laurie. Can you take it back? I just want to play that full speed and watch Blake Laurie's body because usually in these collisions, boom, it stops. Yeah. His momentum completely stops. Yeah. Now, usually when shots like that happen, we see maybe a spin out or mm. the momentum continues on, but he stops him dead in his tracks. And this is a smart play. If you look, Blake Laurie, he does have a slight passing game, but not particularly known for that. There's no push, so Flegler then can come from the outside in. It's probably not something you'd encourage too much from a coaching staff perspective, but what you do, you'd encourage and say, if you can pull it off, I'll let you shoot out the line and abandon the shape. And when Flegler does it and executes like that, you're only going to encourage it. And right here again, similar sort of standpoint, and Flegler's, well, he's first in, I guess, as the defender, and, and what happens next? Yeah, let's have a look at this one. We saw Tom Flegler carry the ball off his own line and change a set for the Brisbane Broncos. Well, when you're coming up against the Broncos with a guy like Tom Flegler, you're looking to try and gain an advantage, try and change a set. I think this is Will Warbrick, who's a big human being, mm. and Tom Flegler just says, you're not going to change this set, mate. In fact, we're going to put the advantage back, or even more so in the favour of the Brisbane Broncos. This is, That was a semi-final game as well. Yeah. That's an aggressive shot where the margin for error is very small. The last thing you want, want to do in that situation is A, be offside for a penalty. So you've got to think about your line speed. And you know that you, you need to, to go meet the collision, accelerate into the collision. But with a guy, guy, guy like Warbrick who's got decent feet, mm -hmm. you've got to get your timer right. The last thing you want, need to do is a lazy arm, mm -hmm. make contact with the head, concede a penalty, perhaps get 10 minutes. Yeah. But he executes that one perfectly. He'll be great for the Dolphins. Absolutely. Wayne Bennett, Christian Wolf will be looking forward to having him in their forward pack for season 2024. Thanks very much, James. For all your NRL game plan news and analysis, go to NRL.com.